to another Photoshop tutorial from tutorvid.com. This is another in the series of Photoshop 101, which covers the basics in working in Photoshop. So in digital photography, histograms are everywhere. They're on the back of cameras, they're in Photoshop, they're in Adobe Bridge, and it's important to understand how they work because they apply a lot to understanding what the image contains. So here we have a histogram of this particular image. So the histogram isn't any more difficult really than a simple bar graph. On the left hand side, on the bottom, we have the various shades of gray. If I put my cursor over the graph, you can see that level 132, 134, that's the shade of gray. If I go to the left hand side, that's the blacks. Zero is totally black. On the right hand side, it goes up to 255, and that's pure white. So this image you can see has a lot of white. That comes from the sky here. And when we count up all these pixels here in the grass, that they stack up here. And then her jacket and scarf would be stacked up here. If I paint on this image and give it more black, you can see, oh, well, let's paint out all the white here. You can see all the white pixels are gone. They're not in the graph because they don't exist in the picture. And we have a huge stack of black pixels here, which would be all this sky, and then all these gray, middle gray, which would be all this grass. If it were changed into a black and white image, these would be middle gray. They're stacked up in the middle here. So hopefully that gives you a better understanding of how the histogram works. You can check out more tutorials on tutorvid.com.